Hi, John Marshall, the Drill Master. Cap Rock, again, uh, Cap Rock Armed Exhibition, uh, got first place. That's awesome. Love it. All right. <clears throat> so here, uh, again, with uh, 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 the same performance that I that I get, did a critique uh, of, uh, actually, this morning, depending on when you watch, it really doesn't matter. But what you'll see is a little bit of variation on the setup there. The, and I'll, I'll put the link down below of the other uh, critique. But let's get, uh, let's get going here. So as I said in the other uh, video here, well, I'll, I'll just, I'll let this play. I, I'll try and make this quicker. Uh, turning your head. Oh, so I see you, you, even though you, even though you entered at the angle, you still kind of pulled it around just a little bit of a wheel type of movement there. So commander, don't turn your head to, to call commands. That's so. Oh, this is uh, still the same alignment uh, issues there. Oh, that was uh. Uh, that looked a little different, honestly. It was still as effective. And it, heights on the on the tosses there were really very good. Commander integrated. It looks like with the, uh, however. There. Uh, so I want to talk about the the feet in just a second. The entrance you you generate the the uh, uh, you generate interest and then uh, it's it was still the same just marching in beasting the rifle then report in there was there's something lacking there from when you when you start out all the way through up to the report in and even still the report in formation isn't all that significant why separate like that and then just come back together what is the the point to the separation you don't separate into anything other than taking the uh uh what, let's i don't yeah kind of kind of sort of like this taking the, the the formation and separating it like this and then bringing it back together okay so why is it is it was it was it just to separate or is there the 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 logical reasoning behind the the drill design is what i'm looking for and it just really isn't all that effective okay so you can separate like that great but all right that's it's not impressive and and that's what you want to to communicate is that oh wow that was cool yeah and and that's going to to be a uh, for a drill writer, that's going to be something that's on your mind uh, consistently when you're uh, when you're performing. So, uh, from what I understand, the 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 performance area is smaller here. It's not 100 by 100, which is just ridiculous. That that doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Anyway, let's talk about feet and the lower leg. So you you're you're marching forward, and I like that commander is finally integrated. You're you're blocking the, really the whole way in. Uh, turning the head doesn't work either because you've got a rifle, 
and uh, well, even if you had a sword, it would still, it, it's just, it's not necessary. That's more of a regulation drill mindset. Um, so anyway, uh, we, we've got to get out of that mindset, get into regulate or uh, exhibition drill. But look at the feet here. Very, very different variation of, uh, of technique here. So it was, it was a kind of a horse step, if, uh, if I can call it that. So was that signal necessary, Commander? Could the team have gone out, turned, and then marched forward? Absolutely, it could have. It didn't need that, uh, that signal of the, the butt slam there at all. Not bad. I think there's improvement there. I really do. I think there's some improvement. Yes. Yes. So the, the, I, I know the big step, you're trying to get aligned over here with uh, this rank right over here. I, I understand that. However, you need to anticipate this as you're marching up, as you see her passing in, uh, was it in front of? Oh, no, not he doesn't even pass. So let me go back here then. How can we, uh, how can we do this? I, yeah, so there, there has to, what I suggest uh, on something like this is to, uh, I, use one of the methods that I, I use to teach get poker chips and have an A and a B set and everybody marches to their own poker chip. And it's really fairly simple. You place your poker chips in your, in your first set. This is your second set. Your first set is here. Well, you're marching here. There, your first set is here. You put a poker chip right in between your feet that then you, what you're going to do is march directly towards your other poker chip. This is how uh, marching band and, and drum corps drill is, is, uh, is created. Um, now it's much more computerized and uh, it, so sets aren't necessarily marked that way, but the, at least when I teach drill is still, uh, I'll use the poker chip uh, or anything, you know, but uh, it, just a, some little tiny piece of something that you can uh, you can march towards, and then being able to go from set to set, and again set to set, set to set. It starts getting your mind ready to understand how your double spacing marching at an angle actually works, and applying that new knowledge that you're getting as you're marching. And going into your poker chip, you're going, oh, that's what I was doing before. Because you're going this way instead of this way. And I'm talking, you know, the the, the direction change of, of marching towards the camera and right there. It's significant the farther you go as you start to march out. So that is the issue here, is that there are slight direction uh, changes that are not working. Yeah, even here, <clears throat> even here starting out. See, he's not behind. These three should be aligned starting out. These two should be aligned. These two, etc. Same thing over here. Uh, too far over really should be in the middle right here. And then you've, you've got, it's, it's double spacing. It's at an angle. And it's just, it's really complicated. But the more you practice it using the poker chip method, I would suggest, uh, <clears throat> then uh, the more you practice it, the better it's going to be. Now, there's there's also, uh, um, i tell you what I'll, I'll do. I'll, uh, let me pause. I'll write a note for myself, then I'll explain it. Okay, here's a routine mapping tool that I created years ago. I forget when. Uh, maybe there's a date on here. Uh, 20, well, I revised it in 2014. 
So <clears throat> what you have across the front, numbers up to side letters. And what you're, this is 30 by 30. It's a two-step, uh, a 30-inch uh, distance between each of the, uh, the lines. So what you can do is mark, uh, this is how I've written drill for, for many years. And it gets very precise here. So what you do is you, can I, mark on this I wonder oh no I can't so um, uh, if I had it on my front screen anyway uh, I could I could write on it but I can't so what let's say you're going to go with 03 that's one that's your first position here so you put an X for 03 and then the the uh, uh, the movement is at a 45 degree angle and so we're going to go forward, let's say eight steps, and then the uh, then the that ends. Let's let's say K seven, all right. And what you do is you have you have li I have little cones that I can set out. I have twenty one cones that go off at the front, and then I have a bunch of cones that go up the side, and uh, they're all they have all numbers and letters on them and so you you constantly look to see where you're going it it's uh, a helpful guide it's it's something that uh that can uh well uh it can be useful if you know how to use it and it takes some time to uh, uh to use it so anyway let's go back to here So it better, much better. So at least the commander's not in front, facing away from the audience. This is this is better. Don't understand the difference here uh, with the leg and the hand and the rifle. It. It really doesn't make all that much sense. Although at least the individual is centered on the head judge, that's fine. But why go into this position? Does it does it do anything really? Does it add to the uh, does it add to the routine? So I, I see the the heads are dropped quite considerably low for for some here. Uh, this this cadet is practically leaning over here. Uh, yeah, probably bending over at the uh, at the upper back so you want just a, a head drop and it's a minimal head drop uh, and not this massive <clears throat> type of thing it's just a you know the less is more concept here really works well so I'll, Didn't need ready move. Could have marched right from there. So timing is is lost really, but regained. So that's good. Nice toss and catch there. It worked well. Good. So, honestly, this doesn't really look all that great. I know what you're doing. You're, you're twisting the rifle, but it, it all anybody can see is your elbow moving back and forth. And what are they doing? So if you were in front of someone and you imagine I have a white sling. If you're like this and twisting this way, that white sling or yellow or, you know, something brighter that's going to really be a nice flash move those little moves are called flash this doesn't work really 
at all. Great ripple. I really appreciate that. And like I said in the last video, the, the location and orientation of this is really quite good. So instead of instead of the butt slam, the single butt slam here from the integrated commander, uh, I, I I guess that's the in, uh, commander integrated into the platoon. Uh, instead of the butt slam, it it really would have been uh, uh, I think much better having somebody at the back say ready step, and then having the but the, the two butt slams for the ones who are going to move off first and then the uh, the others. But that it is odd. It just sticks out and and doesn't really uh, doesn't fit. Good angles on the uh, on the rifle flare. They're really quite good angles. Scatter drill. Interestingly done. That was that's great. Love the pause as well. So the freeze scatter drill, uh, similar to the the silent drill platoon. So, and I I really appreciate this. This works well. Not exactly uh, as uh, performed as well as the previous, but this is good. So you've got to uh, you've got to watch the end steps in here. As you're changing different directions, you can see he's well off. Everybody else here is going to have to move over. It this side is looking much better. They don't have uh, that much of a recovery. This side had a massive recovery here. So why go to this position though? Why, why go to and then stay in this position? Why not? If you, if you want to go to the position, you, you stay, you're looking, and uh, then the first, you can wink. So you wink with the, the eye that's away from your audience. So the first two, it's a, you know, I'm, I'm looking, I'm, I'm going to be this cadet right here. He's going, they're looking at each other. It's wink, wink, pop pop up to uh, attention then it's pop 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 everybody comes to attention and you're counting though you're counting the the first ones go pop then it's one two three four all the way everybody's counting their own numbers and then as soon as that happens then you go into the next movement that's the kind of thing that leads to intrigue with, wow, how did they do that? And I like that too. That, that really works well. The alignment was even uh, uh, good. And I, I love the wheels as well. So rifle movement here would really be a good idea. The, for the, and this should have happened a lot quicker. Uh, even, in, you know, in the last video, I said that. So rifle movement here, starting here, should have happened. Still rifle movement here, rifle movement here, and then here. As soon as you started marking time slower, then you should have been aligning and getting closer. It, it should have been snap, snap getting it done much quicker. So think of the concept. You have less than eight minutes to perform. You're taking, let's say, five, six seconds to align. Five, six seconds to not only align, but then get your spacing. That's, that's a, you know, the, whatever percentage that is of less than eight minutes, that's huge. And that, that creates a less effective part of the performance. So if you notice, that's an Air Force drill team uh, alignment uh, uh, with the, the beasting. They'll, they'll look at each other, boom, boom, and they're done. They're aligned and they're spaced. 
it's it happens that quick and it has to happen that quick or else you're just really wasting your own time in a less effective performance i i, I appreciate this too i really do i i like that a b uh ripple work and i appreciate the camera not going back and forth good watch the angles though of the rifles nice hand placement right hand placement is a big issue on that present Look at look at where the barrels are pointing as well. So the the timing there really didn't happen and you were uh, then out of step. Good job here. Everybody's doing something that works well. Nice. Oh, you left out the, the, the exchange, which actually, while it was impressive, it's it just it didn't seem to really fit well. This much better. Watch the rotation. Some are a little early, some are a little late. And like I said earlier uh, in that other video, II Gunnery Sergeant could have been your command to leave. And again, you, you're marking time faster, so whoever is still marching has to increase their speed, and that you, you that it looks awkward. And you did it here too. That's cool. Going to carry arms, awesome, and leaving. That really is good. That's nice. I, I do appreciate that very much. But here, you've got to slow that mark time down so that the others aren't running really to catch up and then start marking time. I, I, so the entrance here, moving over from the, from the, uh, the your, your, your really the double wedge, uh, uh, coming over to here, there's a performance opportunity that you're missing, that you're not taking. But then from here, out excellent excellent job that really does that does work well so i hope my comments have been helpful i'll put the uh i'll put the link into the other uh exhibition uh, critique that i did that was from earlier in the year and then we can uh you know, match up the two performances there thank you very much i hope my comments are helpful